guys and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, as the title suggests, I'm going to do a pram review and demonstration. The pram I have is the Baby Style UK Oyster 2 and I have this in the bronze colour. I absolutely love this pram but when I first saw it, it was in the grey colour in a shop near where I live. If you subscribe to my channel and you follow me on Instagram, you might be saying, Nicole, why didn't you buy the grey one? Grey is just you because the gray one just did not appeal to me i walked straight past it in the store i didn't pay any attention to it it wasn't grabbing my attention whatsoever and it wasn't until i saw the bronze one that i was actually drawn to it the girl in the shop was really helpful she asked us what we were looking for in a pram and at the time i really didn't know because with penelope i had had a silver cross pram it was black and tan which was ideal to have for a boy as well but because of the size of the carriage on the pram it would not fit in the car with two car seats even though we have a pretty large car. We needed a new pram that, so my first thing was that it needed to fit in our boot space and we have quite a large boot so that was our number one priority was boot space was it big enough we need to be able to fit it in there. We also was thinking because at the time we was looking at prams Penelope was still only one years old and she was still going in her buggy everywhere. We was debating whether we would need something like a double buggy or a double pram not a side by side but one of those that are like front and back you know where they're layered I don't know what they're called but those kind of prams or whether we would just get a ride along board and we was umming and ahhing and we were trying to get her to walk a little bit more to sort of fix that problem and we were still really unsure. We also go on a lot of walks with our dogs so we go on rough terrain and we needed to make sure that the pram was going to be durable for that kind of terrain. So we gave our specifications to the lady in the shop and she straight away directed us to the Oyster 2 and I was like nah it's not calling my name, I don't like it and I was like honestly I don't like it and she was really pushing this pram on me and the thing was it was one of the cheaper ones in the store so I was like are they just trying to get rid of it? Is it rubbish? Is she so we went to another pram store, which is where I originally got Penelope's pram from. I told her the specifications that we need, the same ones, and she straight away said, the Oyster 2. And I was like, well, she must have been right. It must meet our specifications. And in this other shop, they had the bronze one. And I was like, oh, I like it. I like that it's a bit rose goldy. And I, I just, it really sort of called to me. So I was like, we definitely have to get this pram now I really really like it and we're going to get it with the ride along board so I will show you everything we've got I'll show you how it works and I'll tell you what I think about it and I'll probably tell you as I go along what the pros and cons are that I think of this pram so if you'd like to see our pram in how it works and what I think then please keep on watching so this is the pram frame with the rose gold detailing on and this is with the caricot on there it's a really nice size. I absolutely love this rose gold detail on the metal framework. It also has the rose gold detailing around the hood of the pram here. And it's really cosy inside. Henry has loved being inside this caricot. But unfortunately, he's too big for this bit now. So we are onto the big boy section of the pram. It also comes with a matching changing bag. And I will have a changing bag video up on my channel either just before this one or just after. So if it's up before, I will link it in this video. I really love the leather detail in here on the handles as it makes it really comfy when you're pushing it. Because some prams can be a bit awkward and feel a bit weird. I don't know whether you found that but I really do find that. So the bag comes off really easy, you just push those up and it has these little tabs here that have a small circle and a big circle and you just put that on and it straps straight in there really easy. I'm just going to put that to one side and like I said I'm going to do more of a demonstration on this bag in my changing bag video so don't forget to watch that. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to push this pram one-handed. It just glides so easy which is ideal for having two children when you need to have one of them holding hands. It is very easy to just push. It wheels so nice and it has such a nice feeling when you're pushing it and I don't know about you when I'm pushing a pram I like to have it feeling comfy and pushing nice my silver cross one did push really nice but it was so hard to turn it I had to get like two hands to turn it anywhere whereas this one you can see it easily it just glides so nice and the wheels are really small and really compact 
and also we also bought it like i said with the ride along board these prams come with their own ride along boards and they attach so easy to the back of the pram here you just clip them on and the only downside i would say to this ride along board is when you have the carry cot on you cannot pull the board down see it gets stuck so that is my one of my cons on this pram but what we would do is if we were going out walking and we knew that Penelope was going to go on her board, we would get that down beforehand. So that would stop that problem. But there has been times where I've started on a walk and then she said, oh, I want to get on my board. And you're like, oh, I've had to lift the carry cot off, put the board down and then put the carry cot back on, which isn't the end of the world, but it is just a bit of a faff, especially when you're out and about with a two year old and a baby. It, and you don't really want to be putting your carry cot on the floor if you're out and about. The only other thing as well is when you've got the ride along board down, it does make it a little bit harder to walk because you do end up kicking it sometimes. So you just have to kind of adjust for when you've got that down. The handle is really easy to put up and down to put up and down. There is a little button in the middle here, and you pretty much press it in, push it up or down, let go, and it's stuck. I like to have it around midway. I find if it's down there, I'm punching over. So you just find like your own thing. When I do have the board on, I do have to have it all the way up because Penelope puts her head underneath here and then I can have the handles here. Otherwise, I'd have to have it all the way down and have her stand on the outside. And then that way, I'm hurting my back. I have a really bad back, so that's a problem for me. So the best thing for me is to have it up like this when I've got the board on. But when it's just me in the pram, it's about midway. To get the hood down, it is really super easy. All you do is you have a button on either side here. You press that in and that folds back. It also locks in so it doesn't fall out and then you can carry that around. To undo this cover, you just basically pop that off and undo the zip here which is really easy but the only problem i have found that this popper will not go back in or if it does i'm just not strong enough to do that on the back of the hood you can lift it here and it has some netting which we haven't really needed because we've been using this over winter but in summer that would be ideal to get some air into the baby i absolutely love about this pram is it is super 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 easy to get the carriage off the frame. And for someone like me that wears acrylic nails and you don't want them flying off, you don't want any pokey little holes that take forever and are gonna break your nails off. So that is something that was really good on this pram. So you basically have a little button here and you press it in and it pops off. And I will show you that a little bit closer up. I'm just gonna see if I can get the camera angle in there to show you that because I'm by myself so it's a little bit difficult. So you have these buttons here and you press them in and pops off there. So it's just those little press-ins there which is super easy to get off. So now I've took the carriage off I will show you how to put the buggy section onto the frame and it is the easiest thing ever. All you literally do is you pick up your buggy section and this can go facing the bars or it can go facing the front whichever way and you just slot it in done so easy it has this handle here on the back which folds it down folds it back whichever way you can and it folds all the way in for easy storage and the better thing when you have the buggy section on is that the ride along board will come down really easy it just drops down like so so that is a lot better now that we have this section on we don't ever have to worry are we going to have to take the carriage off to get the board down but as I said, it just gives you that little bit of less room for walking. So you have to be mindful because I've had a few shin bruises because of the ride along board being being there. One con I have found is this foot muff. It is a really nice foot muff and it's really warm, but it was such a nightmare to get on. So I've not taken it off to show you, but that is the underneath of the pram. It is really soft there, but because it is still winter and it's been snowing lately, I've had to put the foot muff on and that fixes on with the through these. But these little plastic bits don't fit very well through the gaps and it was a bit of a nightmare to get it on. So that is another con with the pram, but it's not really a problem. Once it's on, it's on. It's just, I didn't really want to have to spend the time getting it off and getting it back on because it's actually Kieran that managed to do it, not me. So 
I didn't want to be stuck with it being left off for the rest of the day. So that comes up there and you just have that small hood and it also has this velcro down section here that you can peek at the baby if that's more if you have it facing forward but then if you want to have more protection from the sun you have a zipper here and that brings it forward even more which is really good and it keeps the baby really well protected from the sun i found some prams don't cover enough so the baby's face is in the sun but especially if you sit the baby up a little bit more they're completely covered and you don't have to worry about the sun being in their eyes one other con on this pram is just this black fabric that it is made out of it is lovely fabric but any kind of fluff or dust or hair sticks to it which can be a bit of a nuisance like me i have fluffy woolly blankets they all stick if you can see here there's just all so i have to get the lint roller on it a lot and if you know me i have two dogs and their fur gets stuck to it so i'm constantly lint roller in it which is a bit of a nuisance but not really a function of the pram just more for my own ocd more than anything but it is really soft fabric and it's really comfy for henry and he loves being in there and the straps are really easy to fasten they just fasten into this middle section here and they are really well padded so that he's nice and comfy in there so not only does it come with like the cozy toes whatever it has this foot muff as well which goes over the bottom here and i like to have this on at the minute because it is still winter it is still snowing and it is still cold this fastens around the back here there is a little press stud and again like the carriage the press studs are a little bit tough to press in that's the little minor things that are downsides on this pram to be honest with you are nothing massive and again that one just fastens on there and it just makes it really nice and snug for the baby in winter time one downside i've found now that we're using the buggy section is that you still have to take it off to put the frame down if you have it facing towards the frame and I don't think that Henry is old enough to have it facing outwards yet because I don't like the wind being in his face and I like to be able to look at him. I find it really nice bonding time when I'm out pushing him in the pram. So I still have to take this off when I want to put the pram down. But again, it is really easy as the same kind of buttons on the side here and you just press them and it lifts off just as easy as the carriage. And another con that I have found when trying to put this pram down, when you take it off, you want to fold it up so that it's compact and it can be a bit difficult to take it off and then close it up. I find that I'm juggling everything and I'm nearly dropping things, whereas it would be easier if you could just pull this over here and fold it down and then take it off. But you can't access the buttons when you do that, so you have to take it off before you fold it over. Not a massive con, but just a minor inconvenience which would be a little bit easier if the buttons were accessible but what you have to do is like i said you take it off first and then you fold it down so we just click that off there but then you have to kind of grab that bit and then grab this bit underneath and then just click that Ooh. shut and then now that is fastened and it's all secure so you can store that away and it's really compact for in the car but what i have found if you have it facing out so the baby would be facing away from you you can fold it down into the pram which makes it massively massively more convenient when you just want to quickly shove the pram in the car so when henry is older and he'll be having it as a proper buggy it'll be a lot easier for us to put the pram down pram does come with its own car seat but it doesn't have an isofix base and we want a nice fix base so i bought the maxi cozy cabriolet i think this is to go with it so we had to pay a little bit extra for the upgrade because we needed the attachments and then we paid extra for the isofix base but this comes with the two attachments here and these just easily slot in just as easily as the pram and it also has the buttons at the side to unclick them sorry if you can hear henry he's all giddy next to you so they just click in really easy and then this just will sit on top there and that is as easy as it can be so if you're out and about and you're in your car seat and you don't want don't have time to be getting the whole pram out that just slots on really easy and again the board will come down just as easy with the car seat on than it's only the carriage that has the problem to get the car seat off you just press these buttons here i do find these quite difficult but that isn't the oysters fault that is more the maxi cozy issue 
so you press this button here and then this button here but I find that you have to really like pull at it to get that off again to get these bits off it is really easy you just press that button and hey voila they pop off so so easy the braking system is really easy on this pram it's literally this little foot button here on and it's not going anywhere and off easy as to put the chassis down it is so so super easy you just press these two buttons here it flips up flip it over and it's done there is a little button here that i find a bit difficult but only because i have false nails on and it clicks in straight away like that. This clasp here is what locks the frame in place. It is really stiff to push because you're supposed to be able to just push that down. And I don't know whether that is a pro or a con. I mean, it's a con for me in the sense it's really difficult. I mean, it's not really difficult, but it's difficult. But then obviously it's holding the pram in place. So that is really good. So to open the pram, you would push that there. And I'm going to need to put the camera down because I can't do this one handed. So I'm just going to put the camera over there. So you push that back and then just lift the frame as so. And I will show you how to pull the whole frame up. So once you unclasp this bit, like I said, it's not really difficult. It's just because it's a little bit stiff for me. But you just then pull the frame up like this and it clicks in easy as that the pram system came with three rain covers which i think is amazing this one that's still in the packet is for the buggy section which i've not used yet this one is for with the carriage and then this one came with the car seat so that is really good that you have all three of these rain covers and i just keep these in my car because I know where they are then and they're not lying around anywhere so it is super easy and it is super lightweight if i can pick it up with one hand like this it shows how light it is because i'm not the strongest of people and i have a really bad back so i needed something that would be ideal for me to lift in and out of the car because it is me that will be using the pram a lot more than kieran will the front wheels do come off as well to be honest i've never needed to do it so i'm not sure how that happens i think you press these buttons here and they pop out but i don't want to do it in case i break it because i haven't actually done that yet that is pretty much everything so i hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the oyster 2 and i hope you found it informative and maybe help you in your pram decision making like i said i was wasn't really attracted to it in the beginning but then i absolutely love this pram now i think it's an amazing pram there are a few cons that i did mention but like i said they are minor minor things that are not massive inconveniences to my life just little inconveniences that i would point out to people that those are things that i have made a small complaint about maybe just been like oh that's annoying or that's annoying but nothing that really would put me off buying the pram this pram i think it cost us around 800 pound for everything but like i said i had to upgrade for the maxi cozy and the isofix so that was included in that price and they also gave us an offer where they gave us the ride along board for free included in our price if we didn't upgrade to the maxi cozy we wouldn't have had to have paid any extra the car seat did come with the Oyster 2 which is like a bronzy car seat but we wanted the Isofix because if you've had a child before you'll know that fastening the car seat in the car can be a bit of a pain and the Isofixes are a lot safer that's what we really wanted for our needs we didn't have to pay the full price of the Maxi Cozy just an upgrade price and when you're looking at prams nowadays the whole pram systems are so expensive that what we got it for was actually quite a bargain and to think it was one of the cheaper prams in the shop and it still was like that price i think it was around 650 on its own it was definitely under 700 by itself if you stuck to just the oyster car seat then it was definitely under 700 pounds but if you like us and want the isofix you would have to do the upgrade but that was the same with a lot of the pram systems and they were coming up over a thousand pounds so in the end i was really glad that the girl pushed me towards this pram it's been suitable for all our needs it fits perfectly in our car it's really compact and i even got it in my mum's small hatchback which was a bit more of a struggle but we got it in there it was nice and compact whereas my silver cross pram would have never ever even fit on the back seat of my mum's hatchback car 
because it was just so massive. So those are things you need to take into consideration. And the ride along board has been brilliant for Penelope. She now does just walk a lot of the time, but if she gets tired, she will stand on there and it is great, especially when they're dawdling, you can just get them to jump on the board and you can shoot off. I find it handy if I want to go for a bit of a jog, I can up my speed with it. It is really easy to push. It's just a lovely pram. Again, thank you for watching my video and I hope you found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!